It is a 1996, at least I believe so, New Lake 12 inch oscillating desk fan. Now I got this fan off eBay, I think it was August or July of 2020. And they claim on the base, if you read it, New Lake. But it says right there, quality products. So the claim is that this is a good quality fan. In my opinion, it's all right in quality. Definitely better in construction than an SMC fan, but not as good as something from the 80s. You've got this front grill with a bad shaped grill. As you can see, the grill is bad shaped. I don't know why they do that, but I like it. Three speed push buttons. This is the black version. I've got silver links, 12 inch test fan that my grandparents has. I just think this one might be slightly older. Side view. You may notice how the oscillation knob is not there. The fan does oscillate fine. I kind of, while taking the motor housing off to clean it up, I broke the oscillation knob. I basically snapped it while trying to pull it off. So it won't go back on and won't stay on. So the oscillator knob is broken, but the oscillator mechanism itself is working fine. I will not demonstrate it in this video because it requires a pair of pliers to do to disable it. And I don't have a pair of pliers on me right now. I'm not willing to go maybe to the garage just for this video. And here's the back of your fan. It's made of plastic, sadly. The uh, oscillator mechanism in there is actually made of metal, which is good. Because SMC fans have plastic oscillator mechanism. Having a metal one is definitely much nicer. Now let's turn it on. Oh goodness. I guess we're there. Yeah, the base is like bending. I don't know why the base is doing this, but that's not good. That's where it, that is, it says 0696. That's where I believe it made in 1996. I'm just assuming, I'm not 100% sure. There's a bunch of test stickers. This thing I think is safe for use because it's been tested quite a bit. Newleg, NLDF12. That's the model number. 230 volts, 50 hertz, 45 watts. I'm assuming it's made in China. It, it wouldn't surprise me if it was made in China. Typical of fans in the 90s to be Chinese made. Very typical. All SMC fans, I think, except for like the, the earliest models, are Chinese made. All of the SMC fans, yeah, pretty much all SMC fans are Chinese made. They're all made in China. Now, let's get on with the airflow test. Also, plug. Decent cord. Could be better, to be honest. Now, here, let's demonstrate it. Here's low. It sometimes does that, but you just need to push that. And the thing I like about this fan, it's really quiet. It's really, really quiet. I can also do an airflow test because I have this. As you can see, it's decently powerful. Yes, I'm filming on the floor. Medium. It's a really quiet fan. This is annoying though. Quiet and high, honestly. It's a quiet fan in general. One of my quietest fans I own, actually. There's just quite a bit of air. It's 
got a good spin on time. Not the best ever, but still real good. Now we're going to start. Now I'm going to show you the start up to low because I forgot to. Start up to medium. It's in really good condition performance wise. Here's a start up to high. I actually bought this van for about 15 quid. So not a bad deal. One thing you may have noticed, it has two handles. I'm not sure why, but it just does. Anyways. It doesn't make any funny noises. And if you're wondering, it does shake quite a bit. And you can really see there where it hasn't been, the wheel hasn't been taken off it in so long. This fan does shake, but only a little bit. Anyways. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and see ya.